Welcome to this What's New in S2M Center 2011 R1 video. In this video, I've opened up S2M Center by itself, not going through the solid interface, but all of the features that we'll go over today are available through the solid interface as well. If we click on the planet button in the upper left, notice a new button here for properties. Click on properties, and it's just like your job information for when starting a new job in solid 2011. we go back to the planet button go to preferences if I go to geometry I've got a new feature here called extend single pass data links by tool diameter we used to only have this option now we added this one as well notice we have a new one called max pre mill edge banding if you turn on this option and enter a value here the program will oversize your parts by the value entered here on the edges that have edge banding. The parts come out oversize, you run that edge through the edge bander and it routes that extra size off. We have the soft corner radius. This works in conjunction with the soften corners option with the MDF door maker template in the door catalog of solid. Enabling that option, all of your doors will be passed with an underscore soft corners parameter and this value is limited to a quarter inch and any number lower. You can use the underscore soft corners parameter on other parts but it's only automatically available through the door maker module. We go to ordering and notice the new operation order in this tab you can determine how you want your operations to be performed if for some reason on your nest you wanted your parts outlined first you just drag it and move it up if you have added alpha cam operations to your parts move them wherever you want them to go and if we wanted to we can change it also on the secondary machines just looking here at the interface you'll notice the parts and materials buttons are split up for easy access here no more having to click on a one button up here, getting a drop down, and then choosing which view. Just choose your view right here. Also, the machine and the tool catalogs have been moved up to the main tab, so you no longer have to go into the utilities tab to get to them. Now that we've looked at some of the features, I'll go ahead and open up an existing PNC file that I have. Just like a CVJ file is the job file that Solid reads, a PNC file is the job file that the S2M Center reads. So here I've got this job with several parts in it. If I click on the machine catalog, go to the Setup tab, as we scroll down the list, notice the new option named Allow Sixth Face Output. This is probably the biggest feature addition to the S2M Center. Using this option will eliminate the annoying secondary operations that required you to put in a new program, put the parts on the table, pull the parts off, put in a new program. When you use this option, the S2M Center will create two output files. One file for your primary nested parts and the other file that will run all of the operations on the back side of those parts. Put the sheet on the table, put it on the pins, run the program, it goes and routes and drills all of the backside operations, and then this rotate six face trim, if you look at the red lines here, once the operations on the back side are done, it's going to run a trim the width and the length, either on this corner or the 90 corner or the 180 or the 270 corner. Once that operation has been completed, you flip the sheet over and you run the main CNC program that performs your primary operations and your part outlines. We have common line cutting now. A detailed description of this option is covered in the help files. Basically nest your parts tighter together and allows the tool to run one path to cut out two parts, but remember that you really have one clean edge of the tool, so one of these parts is going to have blowout depending on what material you're using and the sharpness of the bit that you're using. We have the maximum retrace, 
or whether or not you want to retrace on small parts. The next one is called Optimize Drill Selection. Setting this to Yes will go just like this picture here. Based upon a gang drill with five slots, if there's a certain pattern in the nest that requires two drills to be used, it will use these two drills, move on to the next pattern that requires two drills, and drill all of those. Once all of those are completed, it will raise up, choose whatever amount of tools are necessary for the next run, move on and cut that amount of operations. When that set of line boring or hole drilling is done, it will make another change, select the amount of bits and run through all of those patterns. Setting it to no will just optimize the patterns as it always has. Part spacing pad is another new feature. We've always had the part spacing where you could determine however much you wanted to leave between your parts. You always wanted this to be a 32nd or a 16th of an inch greater than your outline tool diameter. This made it difficult if you had certain materials that you wanted to run with different outline tools. You had to make copies of machines and then optimize parts and then change the machine and optimize the other parts. Well now with the part spacing pad it's going to read the outline tool that you're using on that material and add this whatever value you enter here to that outline bits diameter and make that the part spacing. Also for those of you who have newer machines that allow labels to be placed on the parts before the parts are cut we have the new label origin option that allows you to set where you want the label to be positioned automatically. Now before we leave the machine catalog notice that my trim values are all set to a quarter inch. I'm going to change those to a half. Go and close the machine catalog. I click on Optimizer Parameters. Go to my Trim tab. Notice that half inch is set for all of the trim values as the machine catalog states. And previously you could change these values And we could hit OK. Now during this particular session in the S2M Center the trim values would always be a quarter of an inch. Once you left the S2M Center and you came back into the S2M Center the optimizer parameters would be back to whatever the machine catalog sets them at. But now we have an option down here to save so if you go in and you change any setting in here you can hit the save button and it will save those settings back to the machine catalog. Be careful in doing this because you can make some changes that you're not aware of and notice now that back in the machine catalog everything is set to a quarter of an inch. That concludes this What's New in S2M Center 2011 R1. Thank you for watching.